Hey guys, I'm Oppo back again. Today I'm going to be talking about Apple stocks and why it dropped despite seeing increase in iPhone sales. Typically I do phone unboxing reviews and comparison video, but today I decided I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to focus more on iPhone sales and the financial impact on its stock. For the longest time, iPhone have been the most popular phone in the US. And for the longest time, I actually have been protesting against the iPhone, but I learned to appreciate it more throughout the years in terms of everything that it has to offer. So in the most recent quarter of Q1 2022, we did see that Apple had $97 billion in revenue, which actually beat the forecast, which was around $94 billion. This is a 9% growth as well. The iPhone sales year over year also increased by 5.5% and this shows that the iPhone 13 model actually did sell very well. I had the pleasure of using it myself and did notice that the battery life is probably hands down my favorite feature of the iPhone series and it is light years ahead of what Samsung had to offer surprisingly. And in addition to iPhones, Apple offer many other services as well such as iTunes, App Store, all those genius services that you get in the store when you show up in person, Mac, iPads, and overall they pretty much crushed it in all of these areas and have seen increases across the board. So despite all of these success, why is there a 4% drop after the earnings was announced? The reason for that is the CFO Luca actually mentioned that the revenue might be falling off in Q3 as a result of many different factors. One of them being is they actually stopped selling their phones in Russia due to the war. So obviously we're going to see some drop off in sales there. In addition to that, there is supply chain shortages all across the world and even Apple is impacted by this as well. So the demand have been there, but it's just a matter of them having trouble getting the phones out to customers quickly enough. And I experienced this myself as well when I pre-ordered the iPhone 13. It actually took a few weeks for it to arrive. So they do expect to see some decrease in revenue going forward. And despite the rest of the world starting to open up and loosen up restriction, we do see that there are some challenges in China as well. There's still lockdown in certain areas. In addition to that, you do see inflation is pretty much impacting our everyday lives. Anywhere from food to traveling and buying electronics or anything like that. You have seen prices increase across the board. A bag of chips that used to cost 2 to $3 is around like $5 these days. Sandwiches that are about 10 bucks are now about 12 to 13 So due to all these increases all around the world, it does impact the consumer spending power. So Apple do anticipate that the revenue may drop in the next quarter. But I do think that these challenges will probably be short term and Apple will do fine in the long run. We have seen them crush sales year over year and this is just a little challenge that they have to overcome. I actually do own Apple stocks even though I actually prefer Android phones but I do want to see Apple succeed because more competition is always better. For me personally, I always invest in the long run. I'm not a financial advisor, but if you have extra cash laying around, I wouldn't be afraid to invest for the long term. If you enjoy seeing videos like these, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more contents like these. I typically do phone reviews like I mentioned earlier, but I do have an interest in the stocks. If you find this video helpful, please comment below. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.